Hi there, good day and welcome to TechWatiyar. I am Janira. In this video, we are going to implement and verify 1-bit and 2-bit magnitude comparators using logic gates. We use the Logism software for this purpose. So first we are going to learn about a 1-bit magnitude comparator. So just like the name suggests, comparator does the operation of comparison. It finds out if one element is larger than the other or if it is smaller than the other or if it is equal to the other. So first in a 1-bit magnitude comparator, this is the logic diagram of a 1-bit magnitude comparator. We are feeding it two elements A and B. And the operation that is performed here is it finds out whether A is lesser than B, A is equal to B or A is greater than B. So A and B are both single bit values only and this is the logic behind it. Now let's see how to implement this circuit using Logism software. So let's start by doing the one bit comparator. So for that we need two NOT gates to begin with. So I place two NOT gates here. And then I need two AND gates, which I place here. And I need a NOR gate, which I place here. So now I can start giving my connections. Let me give my inputs. This is input A and input B. I'll simultaneously name them. This is A and it's B here. And my outputs, I'll have three outputs. One shows A is greater than B. One shows A is equal to B and another showing that A is less than B. So now I can start giving my connections. So this is a very simple circuit. So this goes here and this goes here. That's all. My circuit connections are over. Now you can see that already we have an output here. Both A and B are equal. So I have one here. So let me name the other outputs also. So this is A less than B. This is A is equal to B. And this is A greater than B. So now I can change the values. I move to the hand tool. So there is 0, 0, A is equal to B. I change it to 0, 1. You see that B is greater. So A is less than B. I change it to 1, 0. I have A greater than B. I change it to 1, 1. A is equal to B. So this is my 1-bit magnitude comparator. So now we are going to perform a 2-bit magnitude comparator. This is the logic diagram behind it. Here also we are feeding two values only but each value has two bits. A has A0 and A1 and B has B0 and B1. The comparison is done between A and B and this is the truth table for this logic diagram. So after comparison the results the outputs are given based on whether A is lesser than B, A is equal to B or a is greater than B and this is the logic behind it. We will implement this circuit diagram using Logism software. So for a 2-bit magnitude comparator we have 4 input bits. So for that I'll first take my input and place it here. So let me change the way this input pin is aligned. So I can change it to south facing and I can just click and drag a wire out of it. And I'll put a NOT gate. The NOT gate also I'll make it face south. So I can give an input here and I can drag the wire out here. So this setup I'll copy and I'll paste. So I need three or four of these. Alright, so now I can start naming them. I'll call this as A1. I'll call this as A, A0. I'll call this as B1 and I'll call this as B0. So my inputs are done. So next I'll start giving the other connections. So I have three AND gates here. So I have given all the connections now. So 
So here all the inputs are zero. So it says A is equal to B. I change to hand tool. I increase the value of A. I get A greater than B. I decrease the value of A back to zero and I increase the value of B. It gives me an output at A is lesser than B. So this is the two bit magnitude comparator. Some of the applications of comparators are they are used in CPUs and microcontrollers. They are used in control applications where binary numbers are used for representing temperature, position and so on. They are used in servo motor control and they are used in password verification and biometric applications. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.